Hello and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be kind of like a beach essentials but like for family. So this is kind of going to be a little bit more in specific to going to like a resort versus an actual like beach beach because that is the vacation that we are currently prepping for. However, this can really be applied to any sort of beach vacation. So, you know, just, you know, take it, take it as you will. <laughs> but anyway, if you are new here, my name is Jennifer and I make videos on motherhood, lifestyle, do family vlogs, travel. Occasionally you will find us at Disney, just all sorts of different things mixed up, um, documenting every step of the way. So if you are interested in content like this, be sure to subscribe and like this video for more content. So let's jump into it so i am going to first start with kind of like an obvious category um just like beach swim swimming more essentials i guess it makes sense but anyway um the first thing you're going to obviously need is some sort of beach bag so i have this little crochet one i personally like bags that i can kind of shake sand out of um because yeah it's just it's just easier that way and this one just happens to be cute and <laughs> honestly i got it um on prime day so and it's nice because it is like that crochet material so it has a little bit of stretch so i can kind of not like so much stretch but i could i could fill it more um i think just because of the shape and material and how it's made so this is a nice little thing so the first thing this is kind of going to be this is going to be for me, but um, for family in general, swim hats, sun hats. So this is my toddler swim hat. I love this one so much because she does have a bigger head and this one still fits her very nicely. The size range is like 2T to 4T and I will have everything that I can link down below if you're interested. Um, but yeah, and then this is kind of just her, it's been her go-to swim hat for at least over a year now, maybe even longer possibly. So love this one um my swim hat is one of those like swim sun hat this is one of those roll-up ones where it just comes together like this but then you open it up and you can put it together like that and i love this one because it's like it has a huge brim so it gives me really good coverage and it's nice that it's like um has the open top so if i want to put my hair up it's not in the way and all those good things <laughs> next up um this is a what is it called a puddle jumper i think is what it's called um so my toddler is just like able to use this um we have like kind of put it on her um previously but it's really you know this is just like it's not like a life-saving device or anything and we kind of steered away from using it especially when she was too small for it obviously um but now she is kind of she's like almost she's almost three she is almost 30 pounds like right there and um now she can actually like wear it obviously with supervision but it's just helpful to have something like this especially with the vest part um just just for when we're on like vacation and everyone's trying to relax and have fun and obviously you're keeping an eye on your kids but it's nice to have like a little bit of extra security um just in case so we've been practicing with this at home at our pool and you know she's not going to be alone ever but it's just nice to have a little bit of extra <laughs> and the next things are water shoes so these are the ones that we have for my toddler they're that nice neoprene material it has a velcro good sturdy bottom flexible and then obviously dries very quickly um this one i love for her in case you know there is like some rough terrain or if she's like going into like a splash pad type of thing this is what we use for her next because we are going to a public area, I wanted to make sure I had bright colored swim stuff. So I got this rash guard for my toddler. Um, it's bright pink. And if you haven't seen this like visual, I will pop it somewhere up here. Basically, you, you know, I had a lot of like unknowingly like kind of bluish, like very neutral colored somewhere. And 
that was kind of unintentional but then when i you know i realized i was like oh like this this works for when we're just like at home but when we go into public places we definitely want to have that bright colored swimwear that in case anything were to happen you can clearly see underwater so that's why i specifically got this i pulled out some of her other brighter swimwear um i just wanted to make sure we were covered so yeah that's that's coming <laughs> Um, next up is like beach toys. So I got this little beach set from Amazon. Um, I do believe it came with a mesh, like a net bag, and I think it's outside, so I have to make sure I grab it. But it's nice because the it come, came with all these little like plastic beach sand toys, and it's nice because it's lightweight. And it did this, if you can tell, this is collapsible. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use i have these little stickers for my toddler i was going to try to put these on everything just in case we were to lose anything or whatever um so i'm going to stick it all over this or maybe i might just take a sharpie we'll see but either way i want to make sure i have her name on anything and everything that i can just in case we lose anything so like her name stamped on her hat and on her little puddle jumper so anywhere that i can put her name i will put it the next category is like tech I guess tech category um so the first thing i have is this like waterproof phone case um so i have tested it out that's why it's a little bit dirty um at like a pool but yeah you just literally you stick your phone in here zip it up and it has a, like a strap so you can take it into the water with you um if you're just like swimming or whatever and you want to take some Cam uh, some, camera <laughs> some photos or video footage so i got one of these me and my husband both have one and then this is a new thing called the Fousey. Um, So supposedly it helps to kind of keep your phone, um, like it helps it from overheating. So it's like this, and then you just stick your phone in. <laughs> um, and there's like a little Velcro thing. And I guess if you're like, you're not using it and you're just like leaving it somewhere in the sun, this will help it from overheating. So I thought that was a good idea. Um, so I figured we'll try it out. I haven't tested it out yet, so hopefully it's good. But yeah, so I got these. Um, I am bringing a misting fan because, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's going to be hot. And if there are times where I'm just sitting, I want to stay as cool as possible. Or if my toddler needs to cool down, that's, yeah. This one's, this one's nice because you can, like, set it up. It does have this little, um, like, wire thing to, like, attach it to things. But I'm not going to bring that because I don't think I'm going to be attaching this anywhere, honestly. So, and then I'm also bringing one of our cooling towels. This is just in case, you know, if, you know my toddler or somebody just needs to just cool down for a little bit it's just always nice to have one of these so bringing this for sure <laughs> next we're kind of going into not food but like beverages or cooling food i don't know i don't know what you want to call it but we're going to that category so we're bringing an insulated cup this is kind of like the travel one that i bring around I would have loved to have brought this one, but like having the straw stick out is just really inconvenient. So um, we're gonna bring the Stanley with the pop out straw um, and with the handle. So this is the one I'm gonna bring. The next up, and this is a little bit more specific to like resort versus like actual like beach, but I am bringing an insulated cup for drinks. <laughs> So we are going into an all-inclusive, um, so that's why I'm bringing this one specifically. I, this is probably like not like the best one, but it'll do the job. Like we just had some of these and um, it's nice because, so you know, it is like the stainless steel insulated. And then this one also has like a little, little straw spout that pops out. So I figured this one would be good. Worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, you know, we can, I have no problem tossing these. Um, obviously I'm not saying to do that, <laughs> no, but, um, I have no problem tossing them if they really just don't work, but it's also like, it has to be better than holding a regular cup, right? Last up, we are going to bring a cooler bag because, you know, we will anticipate maybe some like snacks or, you know, things for toddler more specifically, or if we want to bring like extra water to the beach, um, or to the, like the poolside or the beach or wherever, like just but this is going to be more for like snacks but in general like if you were to obviously go on like a beach outing you're going to want some sort of cooler to bring with snacks um because 
if you're thinking about this in terms of like vacation, um, as opposed to just a day to the beach, you're gonna want like ice packs, right? But a lot of, most hotels do not have like the freezer capability unless you're staying somewhere that's like a home or like a vacation rental type of deal. So I am going to bring some extra Ziplocs so I can stick some ice in these and use it as an ice pack. So that's coming with us too. And the last thing, this is an obvious thing, is sunscreen. But um, I recently found out that you should not transport sunscreen into a separate container than what it was packaged in. Because basically, once you do that, once you expose it and put it in a different packaging that was not put through the process of um, packaging it, you lose the SPF um, ability. So that was like, oh, like I used to use the Solar Buddy and I used to transport like sunscreen into that all the time. And needless to say, I don't know if it's like, you know, one of those things where it's like, it wouldn't work because like, luckily my toddler has never gotten burned so far and you know, it's worked, but I would just, I, I think just hearing that sort of information, I would feel better just leaving it in its original packaging to make sure that we maintain its integrity. So I am no longer using that. We have ditched the solar buddy, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so we're just doing regular sunscreen, but I will kind of pop up a picture of the sunscreen and the after sun gel that we are bringing. Um, and then also just like some other brands that I like to use, but mostly we have stuck with the pipette brand for sunscreen and now this new after sun gel. But anyway, so that is a roundup of my beach pool resort essentials that, you know, really it can make things easier and more comfortable when your family is going on one of these vacations and, you know, going on a little bit like doing like the day at the pool, you know, things like that. So hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully, you know, you're able to get some tips on this and yeah. So if you are planning on going vacation, have fun and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Just loving this moment.